today we're going to talk about how to add or not add an appointment to the quick fill list when you are removing an appointment from the schedule. So Charles Abbott here is calling us to say he can't make it in today. He's had an emergency. He had an un unexpected uh, death in the family. So we're going to go ahead and right click. And we're going to come over here where it says delete this appointment. Now you can also highlight the appointment and click that icon on your toolbar as well. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and right click. And once you do that, you're going to get this window. And you're going to mark what the appointment is. Is it failed? Did he just not show up? Canceled? Did he give you ample notice or neither? So neither typically is the office has to cancel for some reason. Maybe there's a blizzard or a, a pandemic or maybe the doctor had a last minute CE seminar he, he needed to attend. So you go ahead and mark that because EagleSoft does tally these um, for you in the system. You can create an account note for the deleted appointment or moved appointment. Uh, if you want to apply an appointment cancellation fee, you can do that here as well. And this is the big one. So add to quick fill list. The system defaults this box to be checkmarked. So unless you go in here and uncheck it, it's going to automatically add this appointment into the quick fill list um, or the short call list as some people call it. So if you know that this patient is going to reschedule this appointment, um, you know, in a, in a relatively um, reasonable time frame, you would probably want to add this to the quick fill list. Now, if this is someone who's canceling this appointment because they no longer want the service, whether it's whitening or what have you, um, you can uncheck this and then it just completely removes the appointment. It doesn't necessarily remove services attached to the appointment, but it does remove the appointment from the schedule. So once you decide whether you want this to go into the quick fill list or not, you can add a note in there, which is helpful um, when you're going through your quick fill list and, and trying to call people to fill in uh, holes in your schedule. So I'll just write, you know, last minute cancellation, um, death in the family. Now you can also add this quick fill note into the account if you would like. So it shows up in the account ledger notes. And then once you hit OK, now depending on what um, your default preference is in your preferences uh, menu, which we'll take a look at, um, you have the option to get this pop-up window. And what this says is there are services assigned to this appointment that are still present in the treatment plan and not assigned to a treatment plan. Do you wish to delete them? You can type yes or no if you want to delete the services. You probably most of the time will not want to delete it. Now, in your file preferences, if you go into your on schedule, there is a checkbox. If you check this box, it's going to show that pop up window. If this box is unchecked, it's going to automatically place those services and keep those services uh, within the treatment plan. It will not delete anything. So if you want the option to delete them, then you would want to check this. If you know the majority of the time you're not going to be deleting anything, I would uncheck that. So now we have removed him from the schedule and he is in the quick fill list. So we can actually come up here and click on our quick fill list. And let me just get this here. All right, so now we can click on that quick fill list here. 
and we can see that we placed him into the quick fill today for that Crown and Bridge appointment. When we look over to the right, here's the note that I wrote. So it is kind of helpful to have these notes in here. Um, if someone's going through that quick fill list the next day, maybe they want to give it a week before they give him a call to come back in. He may be grieving. So it is helpful to, to have these notes and also to add them into the account. So now we see that his appointment's in the account. We can also expand that information by clicking on that plus sign. And then the next time we go to schedule him, let's just say it's a week later, and we're going to come in here. He calls on the phone. He wants to reschedule his appointment. What we're going to get is this pop-up window that says that he is currently listed in the quick fill. Would you like to review it? Now, the problem um, that some offices have is people get so used to these pop-ups that they just want to click through really quick. They click on the nose just so they can get into the task at hand. Um, and when they do that, they go ahead and they, they create a whole duplicate appointment um, and they enter in the service. So now that service, if it's a crown, it's kind of entered in there in his proposed services twice because we still have that you know, up in the quick fill that we didn't delete. So now this appointment's going to get complete. The crown's going to be walked out, but you're still going to have one in the treatment plan that says that that crown needs to be done. And that's where some confusion comes in. So I always recommend reviewing what's in the quick fill list. You can take a look. And if this is indeed the appointment we're rescheduling, you just want to highlight it. Come over here and select use. Now it brings the services right back into that um, schedule. So that's really as simple as that. So, you know, I find that offices, when they go to remove an appointment from the schedule, um, a lot of them don't realize that you have the option to add this to the quick fill list, and the quick fill list is really getting bogged down. Um, so really pay attention if you want this appointment in there or not. Um, and I would go through that list. You, you know, if it's kind of out of control, you can go through and individually delete those. Um, or if it's really out of control, you can call the Patterson Technology Center support line and they can go ahead and help you get those deleted a little more uh, efficiently. But the quick fill list really can be a great tool um, if you keep it clean and, and use it properly.